Hey, everybody. Welcome to the first episode of Romo, please. Uh, the name of the podcast. Wait, I just realized that um, if you're watching this or not watching because I'm not recording a video for the first episode, but if you're listening to this rather uh, for the first time, um, there's going to be a title and the title's going to have the name. So, well, there you go. Starting off this podcast extremely scuffed, exactly how I expected it to be. Um, welcome to getting my shit together or our shit together, but it's getting my shit together, but we're all getting our shit together, you know, together as one, as a, as a community. Um, but yeah, welcome to the first episode. I'm really excited to be starting this and exploring my options and, you know, not options, but, you know, expanding my horizons of content rather. And I'm um, just sitting here and talking and speaking my thoughts and talking about things I like and all that good stuff. So, um, yeah, welcome to the first episode. If you're listening, I really appreciate you guys, you know, listening. And if this is the first time meeting me, I'm going to give you a little intro and a, a little about me, if you will, a little ASL for all the old people that are listening all the young people you're probably like what the fuck does that mean age sex location shout out aim okay um i'm Lindsay. i um create content on the internet i started off as a twitch streamer and i kind of do everything now um i'm 26 years old i am five foot two well, people like to say I'm five foot two, but I give off six foot four energy. Doberman energy, not Chihuahua energy, for sure. Absolutely. Um, grew up in a small town. And now I live in North Carolina in a, you know, in a relatively busy area. And um, yeah, I'm probably going to say a lot for this first episode. So if you catch me saying a lot, no, you didn't. Don't make a comment about it because I'm making a comment about it right now. Okay. I'm getting better at speaking. Um, yeah, I, um, this is me. This is my podcast. I want to document me talking about things in my life and talking about things with you guys as well. Books. I want to give advice. I want to talk about confessions i'm going to be having a confession um segment on the podcast and where i can give advice or i can just sit here and i can judge you freely because when you put in an anonymous confession that's what you open your yourself to is uh, judgment from me and the audience but i mean you know what you're signing up for when you put one in um books movies pop culture just you know all types of different stuff I want to have some guests on the podcast as well. I think that would be super fun. Um, I feel kind of silly sitting here by myself, talking to myself for the first time. I mean, technically I do it on stream every single day, but I at least have like a chat to bounce back and off, like back and forth from. But this is definitely different. I don't hate it, but it's definitely a little bit harder. Um. Let's talk about the title of this podcast. Um, getting my shit together. All right. Listen, I do not have my shit together whatsoever. I don't think anyone does. I'm getting my shit together. And I think this place, this form of content will be a good way to look back on my growth as a person and in my life. Um, because listen, we're all growing. We're all changing. Listen, I've made some fucked up mistakes in my life. Uh, I'm sure everyone has made some fucked up mistakes in their life, but you know what? I'm willing to sit here and t talk about it openly and talk about things that I'm doing to be better and just, you know, better my life. And I hope uh, this podcast can be something that someone can listen to and take inspiration from and be like, wow, this might have happened. But you know what? You can come out on the other side and you can see that, you know, the sun really does shine in dark times uh there's always a light at the end of the tunnel and i know that's so cliche and so you know 
typical for someone to say when something hard happens, but I promise you, I've been through enough. I've done many things. Um, there is a light at the end of the tunnel, and uh, I hope that people can uh, listen to this and take from it and believe it for themselves as well. And that's what kind of what content creation means to me is kind of just give people. Listen, I'm not no fucking role model. OK, I'm not a role model. That's something that I definitely am not. OK, but as to look at me as a person and as maybe inspiration, if you're going through a tough time or if you just feel lonely and you want someone to talk to, you want someone to, you know, hang out with. This is what it, this is what I want the podcast to be, man, is, you know. Just looking at and listening, not looking. I'm always so used to being on stream. It's just listening and understanding like human to human that things will get better. And I like knowing that the things that I create sometimes can help people. And that's like one of the most meaningful things that I get out of content creation is helping people. So, yeah. Oh, my God. I have such bad ADHD. I feel like I'm going to jump from topic to topic and it's going to be so out of order and out of place. Listen, the podcast episodes will get better as time goes on. I promise that. Uh, I have some notes right in, down in front of me. Uh, as corny as that is, I have some bullet points and I already have skipped around so much. And uh, if you're listening for the first time, I was introducing myself and I should continue to do that. I have extreme ADHD. I cannot focus. I will talk about 10 different things at the same time. I will skip through songs. I will hyper focus on one activity and one activity only for a full week and ignore every single one of my responsibilities and only do that one thing. My ADHD is so fucking bad. So bad. And I swear like a sailor as well. So if you don't like that, then huh, this probably isn't the podcast for you. Anyways, anyways, yeah, 26 year old, five foot two, grew up in a small town, now out of there, doing content creation full time, living my life, figuring my life out. I'm also single <laughs> for the first time in 11 years. Uh, kind of fucking crazy. So I can't really give a little segment on my podcast about, you know, being an independent bitch but as well as going on dates and story times from dates and stuff and all that good stuff, all that juicy goodness is what you're going to get on the podcast for sure. For sure. Um, I, you know, see, I'm jumping from topic to topic. I didn't graduate college, dropped out of college. I'm a college dropout doing content creation full time. That is the most like a corny pipeline ever, but it's true and it worked out and I'm very blessed to be where I am today and i'm very excited to overshare things about my life with you guys so let's get fucking started i guess i mean i already technically did get started holy fuck how am i supposed to sit here and talk for this long by myself oh my god i'm scared this scares me you guys make me nervous i feel like we're on a first date you know and like i'm introducing myself and then soon enough i'm going to talk about my you know trauma in my childhood and my trauma in my relationships and <laughs> I'm going to start talking about my exes. Oh, God, I need a shot or something. No, no, no. Alcohol won't fix my problems, okay? This is getting my shit together, not drown my problems in alcohol. Okay. I kind of want to start, like, my first topic. Since this podcast is really called Getting My Shit Together, I kind of want to talk about, like, little self-care things that I've been doing uh, that helps me get my shit together, rather. And this is going to sound so cliche and so corny. And I've said that like six times already. That's like my my quote of the fucking day for the podcast. I think the number one thing that has gotten me out of like such a bad mindset and a bad place in my life is exercise. Whoa. Holy shit. A gamer going outside. First of all, second of all, touching grass and third of all, exercising crazy i know and i fucking used to hate going to the gym don't get me started about going to the stupid fucking gym because when you go to the gym well i think this is why i had such a tainted lookout like on going to the gym because i would always go to the gym 
And this gym was in a my small town where I used to live. And I would go and I would see everybody in their fucking mother. Because in a small town, everybody knows everybody because it's either your parents know other parents and you know other people from from school or work or anything and then everybody knows everyone's secrets and it's so just too it's claustrophobic that's how i would describe growing up in a small town it's fucking claustrophobic every single time you'd leave your house you'd see someone you know and you couldn't just go out in sweatpants looking like a homeless little gremlin which i enjoy from time to time if i'm gonna go out and just like grab something from the store i'm just i don't want to look good you know and i don't have to look good for anyone you know it's not that i'm looking good for them i'm look good for myself okay they be like someone like go to school the next time be like yo bro i saw Lindsay. she looks like a fucking sewer rat I'm like damn leave me alone i'm just trying to get a bag of chips fuck damn but yeah i used to go to a gym and i used to see everybody and it's just like everyone's always using the machines or you know it was it was a fucking planet fitness okay nothing's wrong with planet fitness go off that is the cheapest gym and it's it's good it has you know a lot of weights and stuff but holy fuck it was always packed no matter what time it was and you would always see people and then you have to make a small conversation and there's no way that i would go to the gym and want to make small conversation with people that i don't even want to talk to i go into grocery stores with over the ear headphones just to say a big old fuck you do not talk to me i don't want to talk to anybody because i'm already anxious about being in this goddamn grocery store i'm overstimulated i'm blacked out trying to figure out where the things are in the aisles that i need to get and get the fuck out as fast as possible that's how i feel about the gym uh that's why i had a tainted look at the gym but if you find exercise that works for you and your style, I guess, and your, I don't know, social style as well. I enjoy working out by myself. I know a lot of people enjoy working out with another person, especially if you go to the gym, because I feel like it's very motivational. Um, also, I hope the volume on this is good because I, I can hear myself in my headphones, but I'm recording it on a new program. ADHD. Um, a lot of people like working out with other people because it's motivational and they motivate them. But no, I like to. It's like my Zen time in the morning. And this is I think I really will give a lot of credit to me waking up and I go on walks slash runs in the morning. And at first I started off like doing one mile a day. And then I was like, wait, this is kind of nice. You know what I mean? I was like, wait, this is kind of nice. Um... And then I would do two miles and then three miles. And then it started to become addicting because it actually got my ass out of bed in the morning and I had something to look forward to. I will listen to music, AKA I'll listen to one song on repeat and just enjoy that song for the whole entire time. Or I'll listen to an audiobook or a podcast. I love listening to podcasts on my walk. And maybe you can listen to this podcast on your little daily little hot people walk, okay? A hot person walk will genuinely help you so much with your mental health, with your motivation, with your energy levels. And listen, there is no fucking planet where I'm a fucking health and fitness um, professional or a health and fitness influencer. That is not me. I will I will preach going on walks in the morning for five miles, but I'll also preach eating an entire large pizza to yourself at night because you know what the thing is? I want you guys to do things for yourself and I want to do things for myself that, you know, make me feel better and make me happy. And sometimes what makes me feel better and makes me feel happy is waking up in the morning and going on my five mile walk and run with my silly little headphones and I have my silly little you know, adrenaline pump in the morning that wakes me up. But then at night, if I'm feeling like I need to hit my, my pen, you know, get a little, get a little teensy, a little, little bit high, you know, partake in the marijuana. That was so fucking cringe. I smoke weed. Okay. Um, I, I, I yeah, if I want to, you know, eat a whole bag of chips that night after doing my five mile walk, you know what? I will. And it maybe it makes me feel less bad about it, but you know, it's all about balance in life. And that's another thing that has helped me realize that I need to get my shit together is, but I, there's balance to be had in life. There's not just one way you should go or another way you should go. 
this isn't the, life isn't just like a fork in the road it's like a long a long 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 street i say it's long but i swear to god i blink and like five years have gone by it's a long road with two sides of the street it's not it's not a double yellow line it's a dotted white line so you can kind of switch lanes you know you can go forward you can go back but the thing is we're always moving forward but sometimes you got to take a few steps back to keep going forward because your car breaks down you are the car in this situation and you got to oil her up and somehow some way my oil is marijuana also partaking in wine from time to time and walks and silly little video games on the internet. You know, you, you find your vices in life, but you got to make sure they're healthy sometimes and, you know, not holding you back and pushing you forward. But yeah, exercise. I promise you, even getting up and going out and sitting in the sun will help you as well. Exercise, exercise. Another thing, wow, I don't want this podcast to just be me talking about going on walks. Another thing, another thing that I have found is helping you get your shit together. And this isn't like, this isn't, this isn't a podcast for like life advice on how to do your taxes. This is just like silly little things to help your little enclosure make you feel more cozy and happy in life. Reading. I have fell in love with reading all over again. And I have found that books can be such a great escape from the real world. Not in an, okay, listen, that sounds real unhealthy, but it can be a huge escape from the real world. I am not talking about, you know, self-help, like self, oh, hello, self-help books. I'm not talking about that or, you know, books about, you know, world events. I I cannot read books that pertain to the fucking real world because I'm already living in this nightmare of a world that is probably like a shithole. No, it's not probably a shithole. It is a shithole. I'm already living in this world and I don't want to read about it. I want to read about silly little fantasy worlds with silly little magic and, you know, maybe a little bit of silly smut mixed into the okay not a little a lot okay i read smutty magic books or dark romances okay but you know to each their own if you find books that help you escape from the real world and help you broaden your imagination or broaden your knowledge or just you know books that give you enjoyment in general it could be a goddamn picture book i don't even give a fuck but books have helped me so so much hobbies in general i think finding something to do outside of your work life or social life that you can spend with yourself and spend time with yourself just doing is so so important that's what books are to me and i think i'm going to talk about a lot of books on the podcast as well Uh, i have a few episodes where i want to like rank like maybe akatar books from like best to worst and i want to keep reading books and give them like reviews maybe like have like a little segment so I want to like, you know, a little feedback if you guys would be interested in hearing about, you know, the silly little books that I read and my silly little time. Um, I also just picked up. I OK, here's the thing with books. I like feeling them in my hands. You know, I love feeling the paper. If there's one thing I goddamn love to do is go to a library and fucking open up a crusty book and huff that shit. OK, I love it. OK, fucking love it. But. I bought myself a silly little iPad so I could, well, it's not just for this, but so I can sit in complete darkness and read a book. I don't know how I'm going to feel about reading a book on, you know, an electronic. Why did I saying electronic is such like an old person word. I feel like, I don't know. That made me feel icky. Ugh. But I got an iPad to read. So hopefully I'm going to get back into my reading kick because I've been... I was at one point a few months ago, I was at a really, 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 really low point uh, probably in my entire life. I probably was going through the worst time in my entire life. And that's saying a lot because, girl, I have a lot of trauma to unpack during these episodes, babe. A lot of trauma to unpack, but probably the worst time in my entire life in um, books are one of the number one 
probably next to walking and getting exercise is uh the the thing that made me feel the most like human again and helped me pull me out of that dark black hole that I was sucked into because it helped me escape into a world where my problems were my problems I could just really I'm a Pisces okay how the fuck did I not get into that I'm a Pisces at the beginning oh my fucking god see See, I can't stay on topic and I will jump around. The, oh my God. The people that are listening right now are probably like, damn bitch, stay on one fucking topic. No, I'm a Pisces, okay? And this has to pertain with what I'm talking about, okay? Don't. Don't. Good. Good. Okay. So I'm a Pisces and we're very imaginative, okay? And we're always in La La Land and we're, only, uh, we're always in our own world, okay? And we love to just be little fairy, little fantasy gremlins and we're very psychic and, you know, all my fellow Pisces, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, quick Google search, okay? Because I'm not about to sit here and explain everything. Um, but yeah, as a Pisces, I have a huge imagination. I could throw myself into the like the books and really connect with the characters and connect with the world around them and really send myself into the world. And it was so, so important that I found reading. Well, I didn't find reading, but I, I got back into reading at that time in my life because if I genuinely didn't have this outlet for my mind to escape to, bitch, I would have been on a grippy sock vacation so fucking fast. My friends would have sent me. My parents would have sent me. I would have sent myself. I would have wheeled myself into that goddamn mental institution and said, I need to be here. But, you know, maybe I should have went. But, you know, books are a, a good alternative as well. You know, um, some of my books that I want to talk about are, you know, Akatar, A Court of Thorns and Roses, um, A Blood and Ash. Um haunting adeline a lot of the readers that have you know maybe have read these books are like girl i know girl when i said a little spot i didn't read a little i read a lot but still there's a lot of plot in storyline and world building okay it's not just about the sex that happens in the book okay i'm not a fucking you know i'm not a nasty woman nasty nasty woman that is not me okay i'm saving myself for marriage Okay, that's no, I'm not going to lie on the podcast, okay? I'm never going to lie on this podcast, God damn it. Okay, I lied. I put myself on a Minecraft server and I put my bed next to someone else's. Okay. Fuck. Also, another thing that has helped me better my life is cooking. I... I was cooking before, but I think cooking started to have a different meaning after the big happening. That's what we're going to call it, the big happening. Um, cooking started to become more, less of a chore and more of like an escape and a therapy for me because cooking became something that I look forward to every day. It helped me realize that food is nourishing my body and my brain and my mind. And it helps me feel better when I'm feeling like fucking garbage. Cause sometimes when you feel like garbage, you don't want to put more garbage into your body. Listen again, I'm nothing, nothing against eating a whole pizza, but when you sit there and you cook yourself a meal and you have your favorite show on, or you're listening to your favorite music, you're listening to an audiobook or a podcast and you're taking the time to make yourself a nourishing meal that'll nourish your mind, body, and soul, that becomes a different experience. And I think it'll be different for a lot of people, uh, especially if you have a family. I don't know if anyone listening has a, a family. If you have to cook for a family, I know it can be Zen time as well, but it can be stressful cooking for another person because you're like, damn, do they like my cooking? Does it taste good? But when you're cooking for yourself, I think it's a lot different. Um, you find the things that you like. You can make it the way that you want. People aren't there to yuck your yum. Also, people who yuck people's yum, you can sit down in the corner of the room, face the corner of the wall, and think about your choices. Why the fuck are you, are you shaming people's food? Let them eat. Except if you eat corn on pizza. I'm looking at you in the UK. Why the fuck are you putting sweet corn on pizza? I just know your shits are fucking atrocious. Okay? Don't. Don't even comment anything either. I don't want to hear it. 
there's no argument and your opinion is wrong next but you find the things that you like and you get to cook it a certain way and you you obviously accommodate to your own allergies and you have to worry about you know making enough for another person because even if you have leftovers if you make too much you have leftovers and leftovers are amazing unless there's like leftovers enough for like the next five days i don't know about you but i hate eating the same thing over and over but yeah cooking has been a huge outlet for me so exercising reading and cooking also i'm going to say cleaning and you're gonna be like wow typical woman saying she loves to cook clean and read yeah damn straight i'm domesticated and i'm single anyone out there looking for a housewife just kidding kind of uh but yeah cleaning as well and i think that it's not just like cleaning because it's like it is it's super fucking therapeutic but cleaning helps me it's like cleaning out my my mind like cleaning out the cobwebs and all the guck you know the yucky shit the goop that black goop in my brain that's what i feel like what my depression is and in my anxiety the, like shit that is just stinky in my skull it helps me feel like i'm cleaning that shit out when i clean as well because you're not only just like you're organizing you're cleaning and if your surroundings are clean and organized i feel like your brain starts working better so yeah getting my shit together by exercising reading cooking cleaning and that is just things that you can do for your own in like your own self uh there's a lot of things that you can do as well for getting your shit together that has to do with other people but i feel like i want to save that for another episode um yeah and it's not easy to get your shit together i don't have my shit together i don't think anyone will ever have their shit together but you know what you pick up the pieces and you put it together the best you can we're all jigsaw puzzles but we're jigsaw puzzles with uh, at least like three pieces missing. And we're going to have to like spend the rest of our lives missing or looking for those missing puzzle pieces. But when we do find them, um, we'll, we'll feel whole and we'll f hopefully feel fulfilled by the end of the time that we have on this, the short fucking time that we have on this earth. And um, we'll hope it's worthwhile. And um Doing things like this make my time on earth worthwhile as well. I love sharing my my ups and my downs. I love being raw with people. I love relating to people. I love helping people. Um, and I, I, I just love being myself because if you're not yourself, then there's honestly no fucking point. Putting on a mask for people, I've learned the fucking hardest way is that putting on a mask for people is not worth it is so damaging to your mental and it honestly just makes you lose yourself and that's something i want to help everyone with and i want to help myself with and i think this podcast will help me and maybe you just help everyone figure out and give steps to help them find themselves and i'm still finding myself as well and you guys will get to listen to it I don't know, maybe every week. Yeah, but um, I'm really, really excited for this. I have really, really high hopes. And thank you guys for listening and, you know, listening to me ramble on. And I'm sure this episode was far, far from perfect. And it probably sounds fucked up. And I'll figure out how to record video as well as audio at the same time. And, uh, you know, I'm I'm getting my shit together. <laughs> get it get it that's the name of the podcast okay all right um i'm gonna end the first episode here i think this is a good place to end and uh i'll see you guys next week